good morning to the world, Liberia, Sierra Leone, and those in the diaspora that knows about me and that knows me well. Uh, it has been God. Today, I'm about to have a master's degree in banking and finance. I'm very much happy because of God. Work. It was not easy to see myself to this level. I remember some times ago, I was just in Morovia, roaming around. I didn't even know whether I was going to be where I am today. God being God, He makes it possible for me to go to school. I got my first bachelor degree, 2017 in economics, and. Uh, I also went back to school and I'm about to have a master's degree in finance, banking and finance. So as I speak to you, the word now and those that will be watching this movie or listening to this particular audio, I want to tell them thank you and all those that assisted me. I've had a lot of help. All those that contributed one way or the other. But through all my life, I live with people from Sierra Leone Ango, coming to Liberia, 1603, dry rest market. I've been living with people. But today, I have people we living together. And I also want to appreciate my friends, my partners, my son. Today, that is St. Peter Lutheran Church, 14th Street. And uh, on Wednesday will be the commencement of the graduation. So I tell everybody, thank you.
we are here this morning to offer our thanksgiving and praise to Almighty God. And so we want to get the service by making use of him of our three old saints, chief of sinners, Lord by me. While we kneel.
be with you. To have mercy. Bring back to yourself, Almighty Father, all who have erred and strayed from your ways. Lead them again to embrace in faith the truth of your word and hold it fast. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have kept us alive and has been so good unto us as to bring us to this day. We thank you for this graduating class with whom we come to you today in worship, the Graduate School of the University of Liberia. And we pray, Lord, that as they gather here today to worship unto you, their dreams and aspirations will all be laid bare before you. Amen. So that as you walk out of this church today, they will step forth into the world in the fullness of your blessing. Amen. And the glory and the honor will be yours. Amen. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you will bless the service, the songs we sing, your word as it is read, and the message from your servant to us today, and they will all serve to bring glory and honor to your name. Take your seat now over the service, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated.
prepared to transition from one stage of your academic sojourn to another. And we want to pronounce a special blessing of God upon you. Who is 
God did for us. But we that still that is fast not what I mean. I can't have not tools. That is difficult thing for someone to now for another person. And it can be that someone might get to now for the good person. For God has to us how much he loves us. It was God prepared this sinners to pray down for us. But his blood, he had not go right with God. How much more then? How much more then? We, for we, he said, by faith for God in England. We were God's enemy, but to make us his friends, to the death of his son. Now that we are God's friends, how much more do we be saved by God's life? But that
it is the dedicum to trust in my eight America. And praise to God that God has used just for me to seven years here to make my presence felt over the entire years. And not only that, but in the state of error. God paid the glory. Pastor Noah just mentioned that today is the second Sunday in Lent. It's a 40 day period of preparation for the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lent is a special time of prayer, personal reflection, confession. In the time we deny ourselves of the things that we love so dearly in order to draw our heart closer to God. For many people, learning is a time to give us something that keeps us from growing spiritually. It is a time to practice our spiritual discipline of denying our flesh and taking up our cross and to follow Jesus. By faith, somebody say by faith. By faith. By faith, Moses buried him for three months after he was born because the saw he was no other and they were not afraid of the king's end. By faith, somebody say by faith. By faith. By faith. Moses, when he has grown up, refused to be known as son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the fleetest flesh of sin. He regarded this race for the sake of Christ as a greater value than the treasure of Egypt because he was walking ahead of his reward by faith. Somebody say by faith. By faith. By faith he left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him who was in this. By faith he had the pass over in the application of the blood, so that the destroyer of the firstborn could not touch the firstborn of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Scripture that we just read, I would like to preach to you on the team values of choice. Pastor, 
It death. So that's why I made a decision that I'm suffering from this decision. I know the devil is a liar. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God has given us this power that the devil cannot take from us. We have the power to choose the life that we want to live. We have the power to choose the destiny of our future. I tell people, friendship is a choice. <laughs> So you have the power to choose your strengths. And don't tell me, reflecting on a little text that I just read for you here. The Bible tells us that Moses was, by the way, I mean Moses, but I'm not Moses in the Bible.
the goal into the refugee camp and identify who gonna be a lifetime pilot. That's our source. Some of you are at a crossroad making a decision, major decision in life. What you want your life to be in the future. So we all come one day of entire decision making. What we want to choose. And then he came to the conclusion. And Moses said, It is better for me to suffer with God's people than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a short time. Oh, yes. Moses departed with all your eternity. Field. And he went to the refugee camp of God. And today we are hearing and reading about Moses in the scripture. How God used it to deliver the children of Israel out of captivity. We are reading about Moses. How he led the children of Israel through the Red Sea. We are reading about Moses. How he went up to God to the mountain. And God the tent of Oh, 
The devil takes from us only that which we allow him to take. Yes. Don't preach, Reverend. If we give the devil nothing, the devil takes nothing. If we allow him nothing, he takes nothing. To the graduating class, I want you to hold on to that power that God has given you. The power wants you to be. And no one can steal your joy. And no one can steal that opportunity from you. And so, look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. you have a power. Your voice 
of salvation. Your voice of the defeat of poverty. Everywhere around the world. I heard the Father, our lives will be so good and we will only pray something. Father, we will go on and on and on and pray. You will hear both our spoken and on our unspoken requests and grant it and call it your riches, Lord. Because we pray, not because of who we are, but because of Christ Jesus, who came into the world, went on the cross of Calvary, died for us, and rose so that we, your people, might have life and have it abundantly. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name.
May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord have his countenance upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord make his face to shine on you. Amen. In the name 